Maps have been used sort of since the dawn of time to tell a story about how we see the world. We all want our pin on the map, if you like. We want to be able to say, hey, here I am or there I was. So it's really a canvas for everything that happens in your life and in the world, right? Everything has to be on a map um, at some place. And OSM allows anybody to do that uh, without having to go through some authority or power structures you traditionally have to do in mapping. And so I spoke about in the UK, OpenStreetMap was useful because map data was locked up on proprietary. And so the idea was, why not just go build the data yourself? With things like OpenStreetMap, you can make a leap directly to something that's you know, community-oriented and open and free very easily, as opposed to having to go through all the hard stuff first. When OpenStreetMap began, the map was a blank canvas. There was nothing there. And people began sort of adding two basic things. One is the very large-scale objects like motorways, autobahns, freeways, uh, the things that everyone would expect to see as soon as you look at a, a large-scale map. And then they would add things that are near them. After you've done the, the motorways, you have to do the, the next level down, the major roads, the residential roads, the minor roads, and you just keep going. And so the, the project gets higher and higher fidelity over time. The community is everything in OpenStreetMap because they're the ones that create the data. There's millions of people now all over the world. They're the ones that make it up to date, usually for fun, usually volunteering. They're the ones going around you know, in the rain at midnight taking GPS readings or whatever it is. I mean, we have people mapping every tree you know, adding which species it is and so on. So OpenStreetMap democratized the way that we make maps. It used to be a top-down, uh, paid enterprise, very structural and controlled, to being a open and fun free-for-all. What companies find when they get involved in OpenStreetMap, when they attend the conference, when they meet people, is that there's no barrier. Right? There's no CEO to go and do a deal with or something, right? It's just, a, it's just a bunch of people making a map. When you open things up, you get innovation for free that you weren't expecting. When I stopped being surprised by OpenStreetMap was when I was showing someone the map and explaining, hey, we can go in, we can go fix something, and they wanted to fix something in their native Cuba. And I had to stop and say, hey, well, you know, we might have maps of the US or Europe or something, but Cuba, there's probably nothing there. So this is going to be a different experience. We're going to have to add some roads. And we panned over and zoomed in, and Cuba was complete. There was every road. There were hospitals. It was absurdly good. And at that point, I realized that the, the data was just not going to stop, that my ability to predict how much data we had is, was no longer relevant. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we're going to have all the data. <laughs>